Hi guys, John McTaggart here. Um, in today's episode, we're going to be talking about what might be my favorite digital camera of all time, the Fuji X-Pro1. Uh, not the two, but the original, the one. It's just an amazing camera. There's something about the, the original sensor that takes a, a very magical picture, no matter what film simulation you choose to use. I actually shoot this in JPEG pretty much exclusively and find that I rarely have to uh, tinker too much uh, with the files in post-processing. Um, it's just a dynamite deal. You can get them now for under $400, uh, US dollars that is, in most places, and they're really in dynamite shape when you, when you get them. Uh, it's a 16.3 megapixel camera, so it's plenty, the sensor is plenty big enough. The upgrades to firmware uh, that they've made since the introduction of this camera have really eliminated a lot of the problems that, um, that might have plagued it early on. Um, it's not the fastest focusing camera, I, I, I will admit that. And if you're going to shoot sports with it, forget it. It's not going to work. Um, but for a, a, a general uh, camera that's got a great look, a great retro look, and it's, 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 it's fun to use. It makes, camera, or makes photography fun for me when I use it. And I have had tons of cameras, and there have been tons of, of even X-series cameras between this one, uh, when it was introduced, and now, um, X-Pro2 is an amazing camera. X-T2, I hear, is dynamite. I've had X-T1s, X-E2, X-E2S's, uh, X-100Ts, X-100S's, X-100s. They're all wonderful cameras, but I have to tell you something. For the money and for, for what you get, you can't beat this, period. Um, it, it's, it's just an amazing deal. And I'm going to try to talk about that a lot uh, in, the, in this channel. I have spent way too much money over the years on cameras because I thought I would have them or I thought that it would be a, a difference maker to me. As a, as a photojournalist, I thought I had to lug around giant Nikon D3Ss and D4s around my body with giant lenses. And no. In the end, I came to this and it works beautifully for 99% of what I do, and I believe it'll be the same thing for you. I would, I have used this in portrait sessions and family sessions. I've used it at birthday parties um, and events. I've shot even a wedding or two mostly with this camera. So it's, a, it's just a great, great, great camera. I can't emphasize it enough. And even this combo, which together will probably be less than $700 US dollars, which when you think about it is nothing in the digital camera world for an entire setup. This is the Fuji uh, XF 18mm f2, um, one of the original uh, Fuji lenses that actually was designed kind of for this body, uh, and they're a wonderful match. It's a, it's a 28mm equivalent, which to me is the perfect storytelling lens, uh, the perfect documentary photography lens. It's wide enough where you can get an entire scene in it, but it's not so wide that it looks like a landscape. It's just amazing. I absolutely love this setup. I uh, love this camera. Even today, 2017, I, if someone asked me uh, which Fuji film camera they wanted to get, I would point them to this one. It is just a dynamite camera. Absolutely loved it. And like I said, it has that little something. It might be the original sensor. I have no idea the feel, the look, but it's kind of magical. And it's really hard to explain unless you've shot with it. But I highly recommend it if you're if you're looking for something that's gonna make photography fun again. This is the camera for you, the digital camera for you. Um, so until next time, guys, uh, thank you so much. Please subscribe. Put some comments below if you have any ideas. Like I said, this channel is very new, and I'm looking for ideas uh, to see what you guys want. So thank you once again, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.